when it comes to online gaming streaming even viewership are pvp games still pretty much dominating when it comes to choices and when it comes to what your actual mission is in gaming now there's a lot of reasoning why i like to bring up this for today's topic today's video so make sure you drop a like and subscribe today the reason being because i have been doing some experiments with me now again pvp and then i'm also trying out like pve then i you know role playing whatever genres you can think of in terms of action adventure story linear story and i would come to real conclusion that pvp games are dominating at least when you look at the overall categories on twitch now there is just chatting in grand theft auto of course but grand theft auto is kind of a mixture of everything right you have the role playing essence of it and then you actually have the online gameplay so depending valorant league, league counter strike fortnite warzone apex etc etc now you do have a little a trinkle a trickle of uh minecraft in there and then you also have a few others you know rainbow six siege for me with pvp games you know they're not necessary best is an opinion of course depending on how you look at it and so i want to actually dive into like looking at pvp from certain angles so for me i'm on both ends of the spectrum when i really dive into pvp games one i believe pvp games are gonna constantly dominate to an extent at least still moving into the near future because one a lot of pvp games are really straight to the point right if you play a game like warzone or apex they're just straight to the point you jump in you get in you host lobbies you get rolling battle rush which is why because today's there's two things why of that too like jumping straight in immediately fighting games are the same way and i've noticed this in terms of just what i want to do with my gaming structure when i move forward right i love all types of variations of games but again pvp always brings me back because of a few natures so if you're older you have a job you don't have a lot of time and you want games that are simplified not necessarily easy but simplified and where you can jump right in if you're older with priorities and responsibilities and you just have a few hours to game um you have to eventually jump in there with the sweat lords like you have to get in there and just play pvp because there's a, just an easy, I wouldn't say it's a easy entry learning curve uh, to a lot of these games that remain popular to this day. You jump in, you learn a little bit of it. It's simplified how you do things, whether it's loot, how you're doing things, especially FPS games or battle royales. Uh, you jump in, you get going. Now, the ease of entry, now the, the mastering is when it comes. That's why there's rank, there's pubs that are harder matchmaking lobbies and all that stuff. If you're somebody older with priorities, responsibilities, maybe even kids, and you only got like a few hours, you can't really jump in too much to just a straight linear story all the time. Now, I'm not speaking for everyone, but it is hard to just jump in and do that. And for, in my opinion, for me, I'm speaking on my behalf. When I notice I have busier days, I'm like, shit, I can't just jump into a game like Monster Hunter or something right now because it is, I have to learn a lot more. I have to learn, I have to do a lot of research on it all day now and a lot of the times also it could be to the comfort of the games right when you don't know a game that now you have the learning curve on top of the overwhelming essence of it and you got to do a lot of things especially when it comes down to real in-depth rpgs these are games you have to really put time into and games that really been around for a long time especially so that's kind of just one aspect is why i feel pvp still is very popular it still dominates and uh, why they could be the best moving forward i wouldn't say just genre but just type of style of gaming you are into the viewership is usually the highest the competition is is anywhere you want from casual to intermediate all the way to the highest of the highest it, it, there's a constant growth in these games when it comes to competition even when you get to the highest rank you're still gonna face even more people in that rank you know what i mean so there's that and then there's the other side of it which is people are just not fucking patient these days i i fall in this too right they shout out to shorts videos tiktoks and all that stuff the patience is like i want to get in a game and i want to jump in as fast as i can i don't care about all these like tutorials right now and then these are two types of games that really help me out with that when i play games like warzone super fast and when i play games like my fighting games and those are the only games i actually have on real rotation now like what i said i do play all types of games like i played evil west recently i've been playing some monster hunter i played hell divers but hell divers has a well, that's a whole nother thing right now going down with hell divers and pvp helps me out with that with the fact that I already put some time into these, but there's always room for growth because you're challenging people. You're not just challenging computer and bots, AI, and not just like PVE type situations. Now, extraction shooters, that's kind of weird, right? It's in between the middle. 
So you don't know if you're like, okay, well, PvE and PvP, like Grey Zone Warfare or Tarkov, these are games that are dominating that were only on PC, at least for now, from what we know. And so it's really hard to really tap into how great these games are going to go do like down the line. You know what I mean? But for right now, PvE and PvE together, it's kind of a hit or miss. They're not necessarily the most popular but again, they're not completely dead on arrival type games. So that's kind of one thing. That's a one foot in, one foot out situation. Also, depending on who you are. And that actually has a lot of realism in there. So I know somebody that what I'm explaining to and going back to, which is if you if you're on like some type of fucking bullshit where your attention span just does not work anymore as much. You don't really want to do too much stuff to get into the simplification of a game and to get into the heavy action. And that's why Warzone and, and Apex and Fortnite and the aesthetics of those and fighting games really, really work well for me because I just want to keep playing and playing. Get me in, get me in, get me in, especially in PvP and these things. It, it takes it ramps up like competition. You you want you want to play against other players. Maybe you meet other players. There's both sides of it, too. Right. There's the cool side of it. There's the toxic side that is pretty enjoyable at times, too, when you get a little toxic. And so, yeah, I think that's why that helps with that. The PvP essence is if you're attention span, you just want to get in. You don't want to waste no time. And then on the other side of it, if you're somebody with like responsibilities, doesn't even have a lot of time to game. These games usually help with ease of entry to get you rolling, at least with all the action flying at you, uh, battle royales and fighting games and all this shit. And it helps you out. Just really get I, I just really get configured as fast as you can. But it doesn't necessarily mean you're mastering the game. So I feel that PvP does a really good job with that. And on top of that, if you're just competitive in totality, you don't want to be waiting around all day and be like, all right, I got to learn this. I got to do this. All right. and these games are solid. Trust me. I love it. when I'm stressed out and I had a long day. The last thing I want to do is really play competitive PvP, uh, PvP all day. That's why I have games on rotation like Warframe. I have games on rotation like uh, like what I said earlier, Monster Hunter. I had Hell Divers. Hell Divers can get pretty crazy too for PvE. And that you know you can play Souls games if you want to get your ass whooped and really really try. And so that's what I mean. PvP is not the end all say all, but there is a huge distinguishment as to why they are literally the most viewed, the most popular, the most relatable, the most everything. One, because I mean, obviously Warzone's free, Apex free, Fortnite free, but it also goes into the notion of like everybody is going to tap into those games, no matter all types of rankings in these games and all types of beginner casual some people make badass content being complete beginners at these games they make cool content or stream being intermediates kind of like where my level is at like intermediate going into more of a competitive side where i'm at in these games like i don't i'm not necessarily trash at warzone i have over a one point kd i'm not trash at fighting games i have like higher rankings that are smaller percentages but i'm not necessarily pro in these games so those help the competition a lot more in and for you, but even if you're kind of stressed out, these games can really keep you alert. There's a lot of thought processes, reaction times, alerts, and of course, corny shit that goes on. But all in all, a lot of it is why PvP continues to win is because you're actually playing humans and you're facing human tendencies, you know? And versus just facing AI, it doesn't feel as accomplishing. I guess that's just my opinion, but. Trust me, that does not mean I just play PvP games because I think it's healthy to rotate these games. I took a long break from like Mortal Kombat and Tekken 8 for a while and Street Fighter and I miss those games so much. But I also don't miss like some of the crazy uh, strenuous stuff that can come along with those games. PvP is very, very mentally inducing like it, it can get a lot of preparation, a lot of strategic outputs, but it's very um i would say rewarding right and yeah so that's always like the thing that i like to talk about the most and after doing a full experimentation of doing pvp games like full blown going 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 and then taking a break and playing pve games for a while and maybe some linear story like what i said earlier like evil west some game pass games on xbox that are just chill and then going back to pvp i understand why i miss a lot of the pvp stuff due to the competitive side but I do believe there should be always a heavy rotation, which is why probably extraction shooters might be on the come up like really, really soon. PVE and PVP, you get a break in between both while you still feel the progression, at least the sense of progression. And 
understanding all the notions of that. But for me, PvP games will always, at least for now, be the best. It, it if you're someone who doesn't have a lot of time to game, someone who kind of is already acclimated with these types of games, battle royales or fighting games, you kind of just know already this type of stuff so you can just jump right in no matter what game it is learn the fundamentals and get rolled into advancing your ranks and if you're someone who never really likes these type of games um it might be a, a longer learning curve but once you do learn it you become kind of universal in these games and you understand like how they go too but then there's the other side of everything right like people that play cozy games or story games souls games uh, sports games you know sports games still lands under the pvp but you can do both right you can play obviously ai and that um those people fall in between kind of a mixture of both and i really like that that's kind of like why i fall but i just do full rotations instead of doing a blended game which is pve and pvp i would rather actually just go full in pvp take a small break go pve games for a while especially if newer games come around uh, and then I go back to PvP, but I always end up coming back to PvP just for the competition. I like to get toxic at times. I like to talk shit, but I also like to encourage, meet, respect people on, on higher levels and admit when you get your ass kicked and then, you know, have a good firm handshake. Like, yo, appreciate the games, man. That shit was badass, especially when it's like all the way down to the wire. Fighting games always does that. When you're down to the wire, down to the last set, bro, it's it's insane. But yeah, y'all let me know what's up, man. Um, PvP games, you think, gonna keep dominating? Uh, what types of games do you play? Do you rotate or do you play heavily, just straight up battle royale, FPS, going all the way? Or do you do kind of like what I do now, just take breaks from each one depending on who you are? I'm older, so I know I can't go full competitive pro all day anymore, but I, I do love the competition still, and I know that lies with me. Rotation, though, is what I believe in most. I appreciate y'all, man. Peace.